The Cook Islands are spread over 2.2 million square kilometers in the heart of the South Pacific, just west of Tahiti. They lie in virtually the same position south of the equator as Hawaii is north. Razorback mountain ridges and sawtooth peaks make up the bulk of the island of Rarotonga. Time has softened this geological wonderland of mountains with a blanket of dense forest. Although these islands are called the Cook Islands, Palmerston is the only island of the Cook Islands in which Captain Cook ever set foot. Palmerston's reputation comes not only from the fact that it is a lovely island paradise, it also has an extraordinary social history. Though Captain Cook landed in 1777, it is William Masters, a ship's carpenter and barrel maker, who arrived in 1863, complete with two Polynesian wives, and a third to be acquired shortly after, who has made the island a storyteller's and a historian's gem. Masters obtained a contract from a Tahitian trader named Brander to produce copra and to collect beche de mer, a sea cucumber. A letter from Palmerston in William's own hand, dated 6th of January 1888, confirms that it was Brander who arranged for him to take over as caretaker. William Masters himself introduced a kind of hosting system way back in the 1800s. For the duration of their stay, they should feed them, entertain them with music and song, share the history of Palmerston and of the Masters' families, and, in general, allow them to become part of their family before sending them on on their voyage again. This tradition remains today, for Edward Masters and his branch of the family gave us a tour of the tiny island before laying out a table of food that would have made William Masters proud.